Hi everybody, Detective Nalzi here, and we're back on the case in Noir Syndrome. We're going to start a brand new day, and uh, and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Hopefully there won't be any murders. There'll be no crook to catch. There'll be no criminal to discover. But more likely is that there will be, and we will do badly. Hello, Jaspers. Uh, we're all having a look at our shelves here. Found some money. Always have a look around the apartment for some money. Now I'm going to have a um, different tactic today. Okay, I've got a notebook. Now there was a lot of discussion in my previous video about whether or not there are, or if there are not, uh, red herrings. Alright, okay. now a red herring is um, a clue that you get that does not tell you who the murderer is. Okay, so I believe that there are red herrings. A lot of people will argue blue in the face that there is not red herrings. However, my last video should be proof that there are some red herrings. And I think that the way that you discover them is that the clues that you find are only related to the killer when they are found on the crime scene. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to go for. So I've got my notebook here, so I'm ready to write down what clues I get and to make sure that they are pertinent to my investigation. But maybe there won't be like a problem. Like maybe there won't be a murder. Why would there be a murder? See, there's no there's no murder. Everything's perfect. Um, 13 days left. Where should I go to? Let's go to the diner. Let's get a lovely breakfast. You know, let's get a nice breakfast on the go. So here we are. I'm going to have, have a chat here. Robert Smith is now a suspect. Great. Not that they've done anything wrong. Nobody's done anything. Ham and cheese plate. Forget it. What do you got? A pot roast for $15. No, I've got $15. Give me the ham and cheese. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Now we could have a look around here. But if we find anything again, it's not too bad because there isn't any crime committed yet. So we'll be chasing ghosts. We found some coloured inks. We're going to ignore that because that doesn't mean anything to us right now. So we're going to go and... Um, still no murder. <laughs> not that I want there to be a murder. Um, no, this is great. I'm, I'm really happy that there's... There's no murders. Um happening. That's great! Great news as a detective. You know, I don't want, you know, terrible murders to happen. Uh, where should I go? Where should I go? Uh, let's go to the... Um, the warehouse. I haven't been here before, I don't think, so... Oh, wow. Found a lockpick. Oh, that's worth... That's value there. Uh, Howard, ba Howard Baker's a lot busy, are you? Whoa, whoa! Oh wow, I went downstairs, hello. Okay, we've got a suspect. What are you suspecting of? There hasn't been a crime. There hasn't been a crime. Thomas Jackson's definitely one to look out for, okay. Betty Wright, my god. You guys, there's no crime yet. The bank sounds fishy. What, what, what are these? We don't know what these are. Wait, wait a minute, Who is who is this? Who are these people here? I wanna to talk to you. Josephine Moore, okay. And Willie Robinson, Kenneth Anderson, oh, what's behind this curtain? Errol Jackson, okay. Secret hideout, huh? Howard Baker, okay, I'm just trying to remember the names, really. Right, so we haven't got any clues because there hasn't been a murder. Oh, there's been a murder! Oh, that's terrible! Oh, I'm really unhappy with that. Uh, there's been a murder. Alright, let's go. Crime scene at the drugstore. Right, let's get some actual clues. So we've got a Hunt Club card. Okay, Hunt Club. Right, so we'll remember that one, a Hunt Club card. Okay, anything else? Now, can I get back here? I can because I've got a lockpick. <gasps> What's there? What? No, 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 no. I want I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. I thought that the icon. I thought that the icon meant that I'd found the criminal and he was a shelf. I thought the criminal was a shelf. A pocket watch. Okay, a pocket watch and a hunt club pass. I'm writing down these clues. So these are the two clues that we needed to know about. Okay. So nothing else to do in here. Let's have a look at our book. So we're ignoring colored inks. The hunt club. Owned by the Hunt Club. Pocket Watch is civilian or police. Now, where's the Hunt Club? So, um... Civilian or police. Now, if we click on this, I noticed, it tells us who is civilian and who is police. So, we are currently suspecting all of these people because we are suspecting civilians or police officers. So, let's go um, and leave here. Yes, time to leave. 
No other murders. Now, where's the hunt club? Is that a place in the town? Ah, oh, the hunt club. A mysteriously affluent private society. Yeah, let's chase up this lead. Fantastic. Hello. Hello there, everybody. I am at, I am at the hunt club. Sunglasses. Okay, that could be, again, that could be a red herring. The reddest of herrings. Bounty placed on Josephine Davis. Oh. Um, Josephine Davis? What, why? I don't want to, I don't want to hunt Josephine Davis. I'm sorry, Josephine. A bullet, no thanks. A salmon fillet, no thanks. There's nothing else in here. This is surprising. I thought there would be someone I could interrogate. Um, but no, I'm actually hunting someone. All right, the hunt club. Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. In retrospect, that makes sense. All right, let's leave. Albert Martin has been murdered. There has been a murder. All right, let's go to the crime scene. It's at the diner. So we've got two clues. I'm feeling quite good about these clues. Gun holster. Okay. Gun holster. Okay, we could use some, like, male fingerprints or something. Or female print fingerprints. Found five dollars. The five dollars is a clue. Uh, it means that the killer only had five bucks with them. Right, that's the only clue in this joint. Um, that's a real shame. I was hoping for a little bit more. Right, well, let's leave. Um, because we now have three clues. A gun holster, I'm pretty sure, is... Um... Right, well, let's... let's. What's this bounty here? Oh, wow. I don't want to go there, actually. I don't want to hunt a bounty because they might shoot at me and things. Right, so police or mobs... Wait, sunglasses? Forget the sunglasses. Gun holster. Police... Mobster. Pocket watch. Civilian. Mo uh, police. And hunt club card is just the hunt club. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to put a question mark there. So our train of thought here is a police officer then. Could be our killer. So should we go to the police station? And just, you know, wait, what's this? There's a police, uh, police zone there. Um... And there's a mob take over there. I kind of want to go to the police station, get some names, you know, of potential uh, suspects. Hello, everyone. It's me again. You remember me. The drugstore sounds fishy. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? So, um, Gladys Adams. Wait a minute. Can I even interrogate these people if I don't have them as a suspect, actually? Now that I think about it. No, I can't. So, it could be Kenneth Wilson. We have heard that Kenneth Wilson is a little bit suspect. Um, so, it could be Kenneth Wilson. We just don't know yet. Right, hello everyone. I'm just going to come up here very quickly. Have a, have a talk to you. Ruby Hill says George Wilson. Okay, Ruby Hill. Now, who is Ruby Hill then, I wonder? Could Ruby Hill be a police officer? Who knows? We'll have to find out. And we're just going to check all these cells. We found another lockpick. That's hopefully going to come in handy. We're probably going to get in hungry soon. So I'm going to be going to uh, maybe a diner. Somewhere I can get something to eat. Uh, an iron button. We're ignoring that. I'm really watching out for red herrings. This is the case of the red herring, really, for me. Uh, there's a bounty at the diner. I don't really want to go there. Something fishy at the drugstore. I'm happy to check that one out. Let's see what's going on here. Bullet casing. Mm, now, that could, be, that could be a clue because it is fishy. So, I'm going to write it down with a big question mark next to it, okay? All right. Hello. Howard Baker has been added to suspects. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, silk ribbon has been found. Again, could be a clue. Could be a red herring. Silk ribbon. Okay. Question mark. And we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that later. Uh, everything else is fine. Selling a cure for all. Selling a cure all for $5. No, thank you. Let's have a look at our case book. So we've got... Um, Bullet casing then is police or mobster, which kind of fits in with our theme. Silk ribbon is tailor or dancer. So that's going to be their hobbies, not what they are, right? So let's have a look at our thing here. So let's say our pocket watch and our gun holster clues say it's a police officer, right? So let's just say it's a police officer, because I think it is. So right now our main suspects are Kenneth Wilson and Ruby Hill, okay? They're our primary suspects. Now they are... A driver and a dancer. Howard Baker. Who was it? Oh, no, it's Kenneth Wilson. Kenneth Wilson. Wait. The Silk Ribbon. A tailor or dancer. 
Mm. So Kenneth Wilson is our number one suspect then, um, with Ruby as a close second there. Let's leave and see if we can get some other piece of info. There's not a lot of murders going on, I tell you. The, um, the, the killer is doing a fine job at um, covering their tracks. We should go somewhere to get something to eat because I'm feeling like we're probably going to be hungry. We've got enough money for it. Maybe the hotel. Um, the hotel has a lot of people, give us a lot of suspects, and uh, get us some food. Oh, what is this? What is that? What on earth is that? That's not the bounty, is it? Helen Anderson. Uh, Robert Smith. Okay. Uh, the department store sounds fishy. I don't want to... I don't want to mess with whatever this question mark here is. <laughs> I came here to have a good time and honestly I'm feeling like I'm going to have to attack right now. Um, oh god, oh god. I'm going to wait until that person go behind them in case I need to shoot the gun. Okay, could you please move? Okay, this is going to be seriously dodgy. Selling a mixed drink for $10. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Why do you have a question mark? An exclamation mark above your head? Okay, I thought that that was the bounty, and honestly, I'd have to uh, attack them. Rose Wright. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, hello. We've got Josephine Moore. New suspect. Had to be Josephine Moore, no doubt in my mind. Right, how much money have we got? We've got $18. That's probably not going to buy us much. Yeah, we can't afford the seared steak. What have you got? A white wine. No, I can't afford it. Can't afford it. Right, let's, um... Let's vamoose. Let's get out of dodge. Just check this piano, check this chair, and there, and there, and check this chair, nothing there. Wanna check the cash register very quickly, nothing there. All right, let's 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 get out of here. Hopefully there's not been any more, oh my God. Josephine Anderson has been murdered. Right, let's do it. Let's go to the crime scene at the department store of all places. Right, well, there's gonna be a lot to look through here. $6, I'll take it. $6, I'll take it. I could use a clue, please. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. Found a lockpick. Value, $14. And I feel hungry. Did I get more money? I think I got more money there. Well, that's interesting. I feel hungry again, if you notice that. No other clues. This is very, very disappointing. Let's check these cash registers here. Wow, no other clues for the, um, the murderer here. That is not good for us. We really need to be getting more... Ah, right, we've got another crime scene here. Uh, let's go to the slums this time. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going to be a big investigation then. Let's check all the points of interest. We found $11. Maybe we should go back and get that seared steak, honestly, because I'm feeling quite hungry. Just check in this bed. Check that window. Nothing there. Check what is left of the bathroom. Oh, sugar. I didn't mean to do that. Let's check that. Ten dollars. Right, I need to do this more methodically. I remember watching back the last video I did, and I only check. I didn't check up here, so um, just making sure that I check all the floors for clues. Okay, nothing else. All right, let's investigate this section. We're going to check the top floor first. Hello, rat. Found fifteen dollars. There's a lot of money in the slums, and uh, there's a rat. Rat, have you got any uh, information? No, you have not. Not going to give us any clues. Been playing too much Divinity and Original Sin. Uh, I keep thinking I can talk to animals. All right, let's talk to these things here. Fourteen dollars. Please give me a clue. I need. A, I need a clue. I need clues here. Not dollars. What is this a white rat? Why is that rat white? Not going to harm anyone. Okay, well it's just a normal white rat then. Go away. I want to investigate this. Wow, there's no clues here either. This is. Oh my goodness, we have got some troubles. We have got some serious troubles here. Another murder! Oh jeez, we're going to be running out of food soon. We need to get somewhere where we can eat. We can't have all these murders. Nine dollars. Okay. Right. A lockpick. Fine, fine. Give us a clue. Another lockpick, right? Yeah, but give us clues, man! We need to know who the murderer is! This murderer is really cleaning up after themselves. More money! I'm so rich! I've got 129 dollars and two lockpicks! 270 hunger, that doesn't sound like it's a lot. Alright, well let's leave, nothing to be doing here then. Another murder, the murder is going on a spree. Oh my goodness, okay. We're at the mechanics, we've got more money than we can ever hope to spend. 
Stop with the money! I have so much money. How is this RNG working? Ah, meal fingerprints. Yes! Yes! Okay. Meal equals confirmed. That's what I'm writing down. Right? So, we've got two police officers that we can suspect. I think that we have only got two. Yes. Ah, look at that. It crosses it out because the male suspect. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't know it did that. So, our primary suspect then is still Kenneth Wilson. So, uh, that's looking good. We're looking good on Kenneth Wilson. So, again, let me recap the clues that we have. Okay? So, we have got... Where is it? Where are our clues? We've got the Hunt Club. I don't know about that. Pocket Watch. Civilian Police. Gun Holster. Police or Mobster. Bullet Casing. Police or Mobster. Silk Ribbon. Tailor or dancer? Perhaps. Big question mark around those last two. And male fingerprints. Now that is a confirmed clue. So we're looking good there. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave. There's nothing to do in here. What's our, hung what's our hunger at? 236. That doesn't look like a lot again. Trying to keep it together. Okay, right. I'm going to go get some food. Um, we could go to the hotel. There's a mob takeover at the hotel. I don't really know what that means. Um... We've already beaten the hotel. Let's go there because they've got that seared steak that is really nice. What what are you wanting here? Josephine Davis. Who did it? Kenneth Wilson. Oh, is does it put the exclamation marks above your suspects? Josephine Davis. No, it doesn't. So why is that there? That's an interesting thing. Why is that above their heads? It was Josephine Davis. It wasn't Josephine Moore, right? The church sends fishy now, according to Josephine Moore. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, to be honest. Right, um, just gonna do a little check rooney around here. Five dollars, fine, fine. Have a little chat there. Okay, I'm gonna go and buy the steak because I have got so much money. I can buy three steaks if I wanted to. I feel starved, don't worry about it. Errol Jackson is now a suspect, okay. Hello, see your steak, I'll take it. In fact, give me two. Thank you. Two seared steaks. I mean, that's how I'm feeling today. Uh, today is a double seared steak day for me. Uh, should I investigate the rest of the hotel? Probably not. I don't know. Don't really know. Probably a bad idea. Four dollars. Don't need money. Nah. I'm not going to unlock it because I might need these lockpicks, you know, later on at a crime scene where it's actually needed. So how many days have I got left? One day left! Crap, Rooney. Okay, I need to pick a suspect. It's gonna be Kenneth Wilson. Mm hmm. Gonna be Kenneth Wilson. Now, how do I arrest Kenneth Wilson? Where are they? Where would Kenneth Wilson be? A police officer? Maybe at the police station? Hmm. But if they're a tailor, they might be. Artist of Taylor, by the way, this first one I didn't notice. They might be at the tailoring place. I don't know. Right, hold on. Picked our suspect, Kenneth Wilson, just making sure. Time to make an arrest. Okay, now where are they? Okay, I'm gonna leave, yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. No! I picked Kenneth Wilson! No! No! The killer has assassinated the mayor! No way! I picked Kenneth Wilson! I just didn't arrest them in time! God damn it! I am a great police officer. I just didn't arrest. I just had to have seared steak. I had to have that seared steak. I was just so hungry for seared steaks. Damn it! I flippin' caught them! I picked the right one! Damn it! Next time. Join me again for more Noir Central <laughs> Flip. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. This is my outro song, so that the vet doesn't end to who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vet, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later.
turn. Do 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 Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.